Okay, 7 a.m. and the dust still haven't gone. Is that the place I need to go to? Oh, please say it is. I've been looking around for bloody forever. Hooray! I have found it at last. Right. So, I probably will have cut this point. So, this is the bill chamber of the people. I spent the entire bloody time looking for it. And I've explored this entire area. This took me a very long time to explore. I've found uh, this place, which is an orgy place. This place has fat people. And yes, so let's go into here, shall we? What I'm going to do, actually, is a nice, do a nice lovely save. Oh, that would be wonderful, wouldn't it, now? Oh, God, what is this place? This place looks interesting, I must admit. Hello. A mummy. Oh. What's your mummy of, though? You're definitely not my mummy. I'm mean, meeting looks so much mass masculine as you. And wasn't so cut up in a bowl. There we go. What are you? You're just a normal rat? You're a big normal rat, aren't you? Ah! Skeleton! You know it's going to be a good fight when a skeleton comes running at you. Anyway, let's put a shield on, shall I? And you can gasp all you want, Mr. Skeleton. You can gasp, you can scream, but you won't be able to defeat me. Hey, light armor went up. What sword are you wielding anyway? It looks like a steel one, doesn't it? If it's a silver one, I wasted a lot of money. But the thing is, is this nice, lovely silver sword has saved my life in more ways than I can count. It is, in fact, another silver sword. All right, I've got another one in case this one breaks. Which is actually quite nice, I'm running low of hammers. I'm running low of quite a few hammers, in fact. Another skeleton? Is it just another skeleton? Huh? Apparently it is. Is that another silver sword? Looks like another silver sword. You're blocking a lot. Your block chance must be bloody high, Mr. Skeleton. Right, come on. Some dramatic fight, isn't it? Me versus some random guy who died long ago. This is literally what it looks like if anyone's interested. This entire fight is just this. Eventually his shield will break. That or I might die of exhaustion. There seems to be a common theme of fighting undead. Aha! Climbed on you! Didn't expect me to jump on you and start smacking your skull in, did you? And you are down for the count. Brilliant. Is that another silver sword? It is! I shall take that. Thank you. What's my encumbrance like? Bad. Oh. I take a nap? I can take a nap. Ooh. Take a nap in a dead place. And as I'm taking a nap in a dead place, give me one second. I need to try and resurrect a dead place, which is my chat. Let me just uh, refresh it to make sure it's not just broken. Oh god, I need to also turn off the stream. Before it makes a noise, don't make a noise! Aha! Got it if I made a noise, brilliant. Alright, so I presume I need to go to that doorway right there. But that doorway happens to have water around it. Right, we're gonna do a nice lovely sprint jump here. Uh, bink! Oh, 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 that was close. Huh, that seems to be fine and dandy. Right, onwards! Before we onwards, save! There we go. Right. Hello? Oh, hello. You don't have a... S oh, you do have a silver sword. Well, my bony friend, as much as our conversations seem to be quite of fun, we need to, in fact, just have a nice little dance, me and you. A dance of a macabre type style. A dance that not many people would agree of these days. People going at each other with silver swords. Me a creature of scale, you a creature of bone. You know how it turn out, right? Scales always try and drive a bone.
I never sung good. Well, it was just silent, is it? Uh, okay, that's the main thing. I do want to make sure it's, uh... Well, you know, I don't want to make sure it's just broken. I'm missing all your lovely comments. As much as you find my voice lovely, I find your comments lovely too. And the more I'm... Anyway. Oh, God, you have a longsword. That is not something I agree with. Stop smacking me, please. All right, I'm going to steal your great sword. I'm going to claim it from me and me alone, you see. A shiny item should be added to my collection of shinies. Actually, what I'll probably do is sell it off for more shinies. Because really, the way I value shinies is by individual shiny pieces. So if I can get more shinies for sh from one single shiny thing, clearly that's how economics should work, right? Yeah, economy should work that way. If you sh should exchange one shiny thing for more shiny things. And that's how you prove your self-worth. Now give me a great sword. There you go. I'm Funk Skeleton Champions! Oh! That's saying something, isn't it? Hello. You're a mummy, are you? Oh, no need to be sad. I guess it's because of my... Nice, lovely... Levels, I guess, I'm fighting champions. I know of a mod that allowed you to play as a skeleton. It was hilarious. Everyone talked to you as if you were a Nord. Huh. I can imagine that was hilarious. No, oh, I fell, bugger. What's happening to jumping puzzle? Apparently, I failed jumping puzzles. No news there, let's be honest. Uh, is there a way I can, uh. I, oh, God, I have to just swim. I think I, I might just have to swim. Alright, fair enough. What's over here? Mystical pools of goo! What's in a mystical pool of goo? Just water? Apparently, it's just water. I was hoping there'd be something interesting the mystical waters of goo. Alright, let's have a look. Uh, I've come from there. Alright, let's go down here. Oh, what? What's attacking me? What's attacking me? I have no idea. But what is this? Lateris burial, away. Eh? I'm gonna rest until healed. I have no idea what tried killing me, but it doesn't seem to care, the game. Oh, hello. It's a regular old rat, right? Apparently the game doesn't care about rats. Apparently it's not an enemy. Alright, bye. What's going here? Hello? Oh, nice lovely waterfall place. This place is kind of lovely, to be honest. If I ever die, which is a very weak possibility, it'd be interesting to, you know, be resurrected here. The fragile burial. Oh. So this is like the main chamber, kind of. I guess so. I wonder where the bow is. I have no idea, in fact. What's this? The Kefka. Oh god, I don't want to go into the Kefka burial. It's going to be an insane clown wanting to dominate the world as a god. We all know it to be true. Can I get past this bit? Do I have to do a run jump? Oh. Yeah, they do a run jump. Alright. I'm hoping that me climbing to the top will solve all the issues. Every issue ever will be solved by hiking to the top of the world. It's insane! Or oh, genius! That is true, Sotaris. Interesting. A nice, lovely jumping puzzle, which I don't want to do. Juno! Do you know? Is that a movie? I think that is a movie. Alright, let's go to the Juno burial. Why? What's the worst that's going to happen? Because there's a fine line between the two. Let's face it, Kafka has a genius laugh. Well, that he does. That he definitely does. Alright, into the Juno burial we go and fight more copious amount of undead. Hello, how are you doing? You have a great sword. That's not very nice, is it, now? It is a movie! I thought it was! I got someone getting pregnant. Oh! oh apparently, you know, I, I remembered it somewhat. Never saw it, but hey! I remember it being that advert once, once upon a time. I also need to change my bloody weapon.
Why can't I equip the weapon? Hmm. Oh, I need to finish my counter attack before I equip a new one. Oh, apparently it was just as simple as that. Okay, so it does matter on the quality of the weapon, in fact. There we go. And I'll like to steal your great sword if it doesn't over encumber me. It doesn't! Hooray! Hooray indeed! I wasn't here. Anything interesting? If Kefka was rich, he'd be classified as a unique personality. He would. He most likely would. Now, Mr. Guardian, I'm afraid I'm gonna have to murder you. Why? Because you have a shield, you are mean, and you want to murder me too. People like that don't deserve to live. Hey, long base at 75. That's cool. And I also will be stealing your silver longsword too. Can I sleep? Yeah, I can sleep. Right, I sleep now. Alright, skeleton champion, apparently. Nice. It's nice that the game's sending champions at me. <laughs> Why would anyone want to carry a silver war clay? It just seems messy in your sack. Yeah, but you know, some people love their clay. You know that. I mean, don't you just love shaping your silver long clays? You know what I mean? Maybe not, maybe. No. Right, I'll just be over here then. Hello! Uh, by any chance, do you have a nice, lovely bow? I'm looking for a bow. It looks perhaps like a bone. In fact, I could probably fashion you into a nice, lovely bow. Perhaps with the way I'm wailing at you, probably might not be much bone left. But let's be honest, silver's never known for its sharpness. It's known for its dullness. I am now over-encumbered. Bump silverness. What is this? Whoa! Holy crap! That is worth a lot! I'm keeping that! I'm keeping that! Whoa! Ho ho ho! Ho ho! Oh. Uh, what can I get rid of then? I can get rid of some of these statues, I guess. I got a fancy cup, that's worth a lot. Hey, I got a fancy cup, that's worth a lot. Hello, is this a... No, that's not a bow. Hey, a hammer! Oh. Let's use this hammer. Bink! There we go, we used it. You know, they really should make a modern medieval ring number and fighting of Kokstar weaponry just so we could see the, the short, one handed tactical longsword. Let's get hammered. Bloody hell. Yeah, they, they should. They should. Hey, if God ever wants to go in a medieval era, I think most people would cry. Most likely. They have a boots. What's that? Ooh, what probe? I'm over encumbered. Yeah. Can I eat a statue? No, I can't eat a statue. I am definitely over encumbered. Hey! Eat that! Eat it. It has no effect on me, apparently. Oh, hello, gentlemen. What are you doing? Oh, I can't pick up your longsword! You bugger! You know what you did wrong? I can't pick up your lovely greatsword thing! I want your more clay. Give me your more clay. Come on. Come on, just die, die, and big. You're dead. Great. I don't want to get rid of these greaves, because they're worth a lot. They're worth a lot more than this stupid claymore. Uh, I guess I could get rid of some greaves and brotherhood, because I don't need any more. I mean, let's have a look here. That is... Uh, yeah, I don't need it. Yeah, but it still won't account to that much, though. Get rid of common robes and common shoes. I don't need commoners clothing. <laughs> what does this game think I am? A commoner? Probably. Probably does. Uh, anything interesting? Nope. I guess I'm going to have to get you rid of these ass statues, I guess. 
want to keep the bamboo candlestick. How come I want to keep the bamboo candlestick, but I didn't get to keep the hammers I picked up? I don't understand this game sometimes. I really don't. Uh, can I pick you up? No, I have to get rid of something else. I guess I'm going to have to get rid of you. For the next explorer to visit the ruins, it's going to be rather confusing to well light dressed leather gimp wearing a skeleton on the floor. Yeah, it would be, wouldn't it? Yeah, gimp skeletons. I think you wouldn't question what was going on and why the person was in fact buried in a gimp suit. I know I wouldn't question if someone was buried in a gimp suit. Oh, ghost, hello. Hey, whoa, you're a tough ghost. Oh dear, what's wrong with me? What have you done to me now, Mr. Ghost? I think I'm just over-encumbered. <gasps> you have the bow! Aha! You! You! You have the bow! Alright, I need to drop something quick. Uh, Alright, this Claymore can... Yeah, yeah, Claymore can sling his hook. Me and you, ghost! You may be a ghost, but I'm a lizard man. I'm Mr. Vibbles, I'm the sh collector of shinies. It matters not what type of wonderful item you have, for I will claim it off your dead body, or your ghostly body. I guess it does make and oh, uh, I don't know what happens for them when they do that to me. I guess that's me flinching. I guess it is. Well, I guess that does explain why uh, anything necro is forbidden in the the Elder Scrolls universe. Hooray! You dissolved. And you have a mythical bow! Hooray! It weighs barely anything. Hey, we don't get killed. Ooh, extra plasma. I'll take that. Alright. Hooray! We solved everything. Should I explore the rest of the place? You know, why not? Let's kill a ghost by hitting it! With silver! It's silver. That's the main thing. If it wasn't silver, then it would be silly! I mean, honestly, why would you ever want to make a silver sword? Let's be honest right there. Only silly people want to make silver swords for actually killing people! You want to kill ghosts! It was just really frowned upon. Oh, it was just frowned upon, was it? Not illegal. Oh, that's a shame. I mean, I'll you know, yeah. ah, Right. So, I have passed the rite of initiation. That's the main thing right now. Take another nap. Oh, this place is, uh... This place is rather flooded. Hello, Slanted Man. I'm afraid I'm not going to be collecting your sword because the game doesn't want me to collect any more swords, I'm afraid. Alright, come on. I need you to just collapse into bones I encounter exploring, please. There we go. You died quite a bit. Bone meal? Meh. Oh, hello. Were you waiting for me? It was so nice of you just to wait for me all the way up there. Wow, you're just... Slowly but surely being whittled away. I'm more than sure if I had a silver mace. I'd be able to do more damage, but the thing is it's just being trying to hit something with a silver bloody mace. Trying to hit something with a bloody silver mace is going to take a while. Hey, you're dead. Just took a, you know, a load of shots of, ah, there we go, silver into your nice, lovely, non-existent spine. Whoop. Now, what was up here? That was worth hiding, eh, game? Hi, oh, Mummy. Hello, Mummy. How you doing? It is literally covered in soggy bones. You are correct in that. Oh, a dead man. Cool, I found a dead person. Oh, God, come on. 
I want to investigate Dead Man right next to you. Come on. Dead Man next to you is going to be a fun guy. I know that. He's going to be fun. He's going to be happy. He's going to be, want to be my friend. Unlike you, who just wants to stab me in the heart. Thankfully, I've got glass armor. And nothing can get through glass armor, perhaps aside from Daedric. But this skeleton doesn't have Daedric. It has silver. Come on. A little bit more, just a little bit more. Come on. And Bink. Brilliant, you got Binks. Now, who are you? You're a dead adventurer. What do you have on you? Imperial Steel. Imperial Steel. A lot pick. A probe. A nice, cool battle axe. And a single gold piece. Some adventurer you were, let's be honest. A single gold piece? <laughs> Oh, secret waterfall! A secret waterfall with nothing secret in it! Oh, it's a bit disappointing to be honest. Oh well. Let's take a nap. I can only rest on solid ground. Alright, I can only rest on solid ground. I am standing on solid ground, apparently it doesn't like me standing in water. Alright, let's rest until healed, and we'll go down to the next one. Alright, who's this one? This is Kefka's burial. Alright, let's see where he was buried, because in the end he did become a god. Bit of a spoiler to like a 20 year old game, but hey! It wasn't here. Anything at all? No, apparently nothing in here. All right, fair enough. Whoa! Okay, who's hitting me? Hello, Miss Skeleton. You hit me underwater. We got a water epic battle if you want. Let's let me go underwater first. There we go. Kefka became a god, didn't he? At the end of, uh, I think, uh, I forget what Final Fantasy it was, but it's, at the end of Final Fantasy, he became a god, didn't he? Oh god, oh god. And the skeleton should die, right? Come on, die, 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 die! Hooray! He died. Let's throw that blade in there and take your blade. And you say it's not 20 years old. Let's have a look now. Let's have a look. Let's see if it is 20 years or not. Okay. Let's see what Final Fantasy is from, first of all. Alright, Final Fantasy Wiki. Let's see. He it is, in fact, 22 years old. The game. The game is 22 years old. Yep, 22. <laughs> oh, that is funny. To be fair, he became an idol to a whole range of clowns with professional mental health states. That is a brilliant. Uh, uh, I love. I like that. Yeah. That he did. That he did. That he definitely did. Makes me feel ancient. Yeah, it does, doesn't it? Yeah. <sighs> God, oh god, run, run, run! Skeletons, bad, they kill, they death, and they no murder. There we go. Right, let's rest until here, at least. Whew, try a level! Cool! Alright, strength, speed, and endurance. 
Soon I won't need to sprint anymore. Soon, the word is. Hello, Skeletons. It's nice to meet you. It's time to fight each other, it seems. It's that time of year again. Where everything bony just wants you dead. It's like I'm living in uh, California. Where everyone wants to be as thin as literally a stick. That's that skeleton gone. Hello, you. Bloody hell, my long blade's already 80. That's insane to think that's actually a thing. My god, I remember when it, I started off with 15. Then I grinded it up to 40, and there we go. And you collapse in the water. Alright, let's carry exploring. You never know what wonders you might uncover. Oh, the dead person. A dead person. A dead adventurer. A probe. A tower shield. I can't pick it up, sadly. Love to. Iron helmet. An imperial silver. Curious. I want that. I actually do want that. That, that sounds cool. You had. You re last rites. Is that how it's next, sadly? What does this look like? It's not that much of a tower shield. What does, oh, one second. What does this look like? This looks like steel to me. Yeah, it looks like steel. We can chuck that away. I hear ghosts. Lots and lots of ghosts. And I don't mean the good type of ghosts either. Actually, how much is that silver? Curious, actually. 280. And not really worth picking up. So it literally went stick figure. Yes, exactly. Why? Okay, this doesn't make sense to me. Why on earth does a bunch of elves have a Nordic greatsword? I have no idea. I guess because it's a Nordic greatsword, I guess. A chitin shield, eh? I'll take that, definitely. Always need a good shield. My shields keep breaking for some strange unknown reason. Alright, it's time to leave, I guess. And I think we've got one more burial to go through, I think we do. Yes, I think we've got one more to go through. And then we're done. Bye bye, Skeleton friends. I mean, it's a neat way to do things. Because Vikings are awesome and they could rave it around in case of Viking invasion so some of them ignoring the plunder and go after someone else. That is true. That could be in fact a thing. Yeah, so this is the last one to my knowledge and then we can leave and never return to this place ever again. Hooray! It's been a fun little dungeon, I must admit. It's been quite a fun dungeon. Now, what makes this place such a fragile burial? I don't know. I guess we'll soon see. There's some pots. Don't want to loot the pots. Hello. I'm Ancestor Ghost. How you doing? It's nice to meet you. I know you're trying to, you know, run around and lose some of our weight you've gained over the centuries, but hey! You know, I did all that for you. Chopped it off with a nice bit of silver. Oh, yes. Yeah, no, it's going to now you doing? Oh, I, I can't go out that way. Can you give me a moment, please? Ah, there we go. Right, it's time just to beat you, silly. Honestly, I think I'm just using this as a hammer. I'm literally holding it sideways, you know, like a gangster does with a gun. Right, and literally just ramming it in to the skeleton over and over and over. You may think, like, aren't I just bending the blade? Why, yes, adding it to make it like, into like a makeshift hammer. That's exactly what I'm doing. Makeshift hammer of silverness. Sadly, it just doesn't get more f effective the more I hit him. If only it did. If only it did.
Come on, just a few more hits. And you should be out for the count. That's a ghost. Excuse me, Mr. Ghost. Look, ghost, he's an inch from death. Please. Please, ghost. Look. Okay, he's dead. Now I can pay attention to you. Hello, Mr. Skull Ghost Face. Now, I never understood, right? Why do ghosts, right, look like skulls? Why don't they look like what they used to look like in, before they died? Or before they decomposed? Or when their soul left the body, so to say? Or maybe the soul only loot the ghost food. Uh, maybe only they turn into ghosts when the body is fully decomposed. That could be a thing. That could be, in fact, be a thing. I'll take that. I'll take that. Why do you guys love your axes? Hey, that's a silver weapon. Am I going to take it? No. Dude, you have a crab shield. Crab. That's amazing. I love crab shield. Because they're all anomalous trolls on the internet hiding behind nicknames. Clearly, yeah, clearly, that's clearly exactly what it's all about. Acrobatics is now 52. Nice, right, so that's that place over done with. Let's have a nice lovely healing. And then we'll leave. I'm surprised I haven't been ambushed in a while, actually. I guess because I killed their friend quite recently. I guess that must be the reasoning, right? Must be. Right, it's time to leave this place. Been nice while we've been here. Must admit, the dead have given me a lot of company that I surely will miss. That is if I can actually... Um... Uh, why can't I get on that? Oh, now I can. I just have to go do it in third person, apparently. Huh, go figure. All right. Oh, hello. Are you alive again? You are. Who brought you back to life? I didn't give you the permission to come back to life. That's definitely true. Hey, you. At least you're leveling my longsword quite a bit. That's definitely something. You're not messed up, everyone stop screaming, it's fine. You've fought like ten of these guys before. And if anything, you can take a nap and just wait for your insane Argonian regeneration to take place. Come on, just a few more hits. And big, he's dead. Great. Alright, let's. As much I would love to fight you again, I'm not going to. I'm not going to give you the sense of entertainment, I'm afraid. I guess, oh yeah, I forget. When you kill everyone in an area, the game just resets everyone. I forget, yes, that, that is a thing. Excuse me, I'm just, I want to, I want to walk, I want to, please, move, thank you, God. These people, I must admit, they got a nerve not letting a lizard man by. I'm trying to leave you guys be. And so you can spend the rest of eternity, you know, in your own thoughts, I guess. I don't know if the skeletons have brains, but the brains will be completely decomposed and probably just a mindless creature, hell bent on destroying all life. But hey, if I want to, if that's what I want to be, that's what it can be, you know? Ah, the desert finally cleared up. I must admit, the best thing about this game graphically is the sky. I mean, I think the sky is better than in the sequels, I think. It is, in my personal opinion. You know, it might be just because of the contrast of the low texture rate of this game. Maybe. Maybe it makes up both. Anyway, where, where am I going? I am going all the way north. Right, let's hop along until we can't hop on no more. Aha! This is where they live. Where's Mr. Warchief Man now, huh? Excuse me, don't mind a jumping lizard. I'm here to find your Warchief. Hello! You got a blight disease, Outlander! Get away from me or go get cured or stay away from me! Hey, I've got, um, that thing you wanted me to go for. 
You know that bear chamber? Uh, yeah, uh, let's see here. Where is it? Ah, initiation right. This is my father's bone by a bow. You have completed the initiation right and name you Mr. Fibbles, clan friend of the Ashlanders. Keep my father's bow, bear of honor. You're a friend of the tribe. But you may rest in any bed. Where hey! <laughs> hey! Uh, go into the right woman's yard and she may examine you. Let's get in that bed. She likes lizard men's naked. Alright, real do. I don't think this is the right person's place. Hello, how are you? You have very interesting eyes. You're marked by a black disease. Yeah, I know. Wise lady? Wise lady? Wise lady? Wise lady? Aha! Are you wise lady? Hello! Something, something, trauma room. <laughs> Still on about that lovely trauma room. Hey, we should tell you a thing about my dreams. Speaks. Oh, you're not. Oh, you're not her. All right, never mind. Bye. Must be you then. Yes, you. Hi. Uh, would you like to tell me about my dreams? You're not that lady. All right, never mind then. Uh, so it's not you. It must be you. Aren't Argonians typically slaves to Dark Elves? Yes. Yes, they are. But you see, Mr. Fibbles is in glass. Everyone knows he's in glass. And Mr. Fibbles also smells. They don't what want a smelly you? slave. Anyway, hello, how are you doing? Uh, I would like to talk to you about disturbing... Oh, you're not the person. Okay. Where's the wise lady? So you're Ash Khan. You're that person. So it must be not nearby. Hello to Sue Dad. I'm clan friend, thank you very much. White woman's heart. Oh, how handy. She's called White Woman. Hello! I have a blight disease. Yes, I know, I'm blighted. How do you know this person? He is the devil and the enemy. Oh, so he's Satan. Lovely. And his beasts and servants are the source of any evils that beset the Dumber and Morrowind. He dies in the, yes, and his ash vampires. I would love to know about more about his ash vampires. And legions of deformed monsters. These dreams are his tricks of Er... Uh, Dagoth Gur. He speaks to you, but you must resist. He bends his power to compel you. You must resist. You're in danger. Your heart is wise. You must compare. Must compare? Must compare! Uh, heed your heart. Don't hear the voice of the Shamat, for it will drive you mad. But I want to be mad. I uh, don't know anything more about the ghost fence. The ghost fence I would love to know more about. It's got a very lame name, but I want to know more about these ghost fences. Latest rumors. Yep, okay. Uh, no one ever to grow rich hunting is purely pleasure. Yep. Okay, never. In ancient days. Yeah, you, your friend told me all about this. Yeah. Yeah, you tell me all about that. The prophecies. There are many prophecies. Oh, lovely. As they are many things, aspects, and uns. Certain parents, the moon and the star, the sleepers, the seven curses, the curses bane, the prophecy of the stranger, the prophecy of the seven visions, and the lost prophecies. Ask me those things if you're patient, if you are, if you will be right, or if you're impatient to know, just ask, do I pass the test of the prophecies? <laughs> if you're patient, just go and ask me all these things. If you're impatient, ask me if you pass the test. That's amazing. <laughs> all right, all right. Let's go over this one. If what you say is true, you are indeed born a certain day of insane parents. This is a part of the prophecy. And many have the same birthday, and many are unsure of their parents. This is interesting. It doesn't make you never in. All right. Uh, let's see here. Lost prophecies. Uh, never ones have been lost. The seven curse and seven others and are forgotten. Some are hidden, some deliberately lost. The wise women are the memory of the Varani people, but it's faulty memory. We are mortal, our knowledge dies with us. And we hear the distant priests of the temple study our Neverine prophecies and record them in books. Such rain words will never die. You must go down and ask for these books and bring me what you find. Uh, never are. Oh god, you're going on about it again. Uh, one second. Okay. Where? Uh, let's see here. Red Mountain! Aha! Red Mountain is a great mountain of fire in the center of Vardenville. 
The outer slopes are steep and rugged. The crater is deep and filled with burning rock. The beasts and servants of the devil Dagover live on the Red Mountain. And the settled people built the magical barrier called Ghost Fence. Ghost Fence! It's meant to keep all ghosts out. It's to keep evils in. Uh, we're in Ghost Fence. Rain never falls. The sun never shines. Only river is red and deadly ash blight. Hooray! Sleepers. Rumors say that in the towns, mad cultists are called sleepers, attacking people, saying that Dagoth has awakened. It would drive outlanders from Morrowind. Perhaps it's just a coincidence, but I think the sign of Neverine is uh, necessarily a sign that you are a Neverine. Perhaps the time of Neverine has come. You have as uh, you come at the same time. Is yeah, this is not past the test? It means you have many paths to play. Uh, okay, the moon is star. Legends say that Indorio Nevera yeah, family stands. Bore the moon and star, and another as armor and weapons bore this this sign. Some say he bore the moon and star birthmark. Some say he has a magic ring with, with marked with a moon and star. Others say he was just born under a moon and star. Bloody hell! People say a lot of bloody things, don't they? It's like, oh yeah, it could be any of these things regarding a moon and star. It could be a standard. It could be armor and weapons. It could be a birthmark. It could be a ring. It could be his face. <sighs> In any case, I think that the moon and star is a mark of the Neverine, and I, you do not have his mark, so you are not a Neverine. The, the Seven Visions! The full title of this is The Seven Visions of the Seven Trials of the Incarnate. Listen and I'll tell you the verses. Alright. Seven Trials. What he puts in his hand to, that shall be done. What is left undone, that shall be done. On the first day of the sun, certain parents, the incarnate moon and stars, reborn. <laughs> it doesn't go the same thing as a Christmas song. I tried, I tried. Let's try again. The second trial, on the second trial, never blight or age can harm him. The, the curse of flesh bore him a flies. Nope, nope. Okay, it's, that, it doesn't work. Uh, let's see here. The third trial. The caverns of Dark of Azura's eye see... Uh, uh, sorry. Azura's eye sees and makes the shine to the moon and star. A stranger's voice unites the houses to three halls and calls him Hrantar. Uh, strangers unite hands in the volley. The four tribes call him Neverine. Second, the sixth trial. He honors the blood of the tribe unmourned. He eats their sins and is reborn. He free his mercy frees the cursed false gods and binds the broken redemned the mad. Uh, one destiny he speaks the law of the rough people. He speaks to love uh, for the land and the name's great. What does prophecy mean? It tells us who the Neverine will be. Or Neverine will be, sorry. And the trials he must undergo before he fulfills his destiny. Some part I understand, some part I do not. I will understand any of the questions the best I can, but I cannot interpret all of his understanding. I do not understand any of it what it means. So don't worry. Okay, so let's sort this out. Uh, you know what? Yeah, it's just what it one destiny. Uh, okay. You know what? I'm gonna go for them all. You, the viewer, can read them. Let's see here. Well, prophecies are always vague to fit in after all. You only speak one word and they speak for 30 minutes. <laughs> that is actually really true, actually. <laughs> it's like, so, one destiny. Well, you see, villains and people, <laughs> yeah, th th that is absolutely true. That really, really is, and it's really, really sad. So the first trial. This refers to your bath sign. So the bath sign on certain days and some says this is like a stranger prophecy. Okay, and what about the second trial? I'm not sure what this means. Never comes in the spirit who is not harmed by blight or age. I don't know. I think castle flesh means the blight is corpus which causes terrible distorted growths on his victims, but Neverings can heal this disease. Perhaps it's the sign of Neverine. Perhaps, perhaps. Uh, what about the third? Third trial? In legends where there's a shrine to Azuro called a Cavern of the Incarnate, there are secrets that I may not tell you about this cavern, so do not ask. Perhaps me and you need to become better friends. 
<laughs> no. Maybe one day. One day. What about a fourth one? Fourth? Aha! Fourth! The one ties and Warlead are chosen when the Dalmer Great Houses are put aside their normal feud to unite against a common enemy. This has not happened since the Empire invaded our land. A fifth! The Icelanders sometimes are called for Lodney. And for the prophet Volon, who guided us to this land many, many centuries ago. And the four tribes are... Four tribes... <laughs> the four tribes are the four tribes of Vardenfell. Really. The Ashuku, the uh, Suma, the Sabi, and the Erisim... Nimsum. Erebin Nimsum. Erebin Nimsum. Yeah, that guy. You know, that guy down the road, yeah. Sounds like a great takeaway shop. Anyway, uh, it truly would be a miracle the United Four Tribes who, is, who have so long raided and worried with, another, with one another. Man never must uh, be the one to perform such miracles. And I believe that one, that one was the fifth, so we needed the sixth. I am not sure. The tribe of Mon may be... or it may mean the sixth house. House Dagon, which was exterminated after the Battle of Red Mountain, which also mean the Dremor, or the Dwarf, sort of, as the rest of us call them. Uh, sin-eating is an atonement of any of another sin. Alright. The Cursed. So the Seven Trial. The Cursed False Gods may be the Tribunal. Uh, they are surely False Gods, evil sorcerers and necromancers. They murdered never. Uh, so they set themselves as gods. Binds and the Broken may be referred to as Nefrin's Broken Promise. To the Ashars, the honor and the ways of the spirits and the rights of the land. Maybe. Alright. Uh, now that I've done it, pass the test. You are not an Everim. You are the one who may become an Everim. Alright, here's a puzzle. A hard one, but have you, but you have found some of the pieces, you may find more. Uh, do you choose to be Neverim? Then seek the lost prophecies among the distant priests of the temple. Find the prophecies, bring them to me, I'll be your guide. And take a copy of the stranger in the seven vision, the visions. Now I have told you all I know. Go, think about what I told you and what must be done. Alright. Bloody hell. <sighs> right. Now that I've done all of that, what I'm going to do is do a nice lovely quick save. I'm going to normal save for the first time in this stream. Mm -hmm. Ooh. And I'm gonna save over grinding, because I don't need to grind anymore in this game. And I shall name this one Wannabe Hero. Man Lizard! Wait one second. Man Lizard! No, I got a better idea. There you go. And then I'm gonna put Man. Oh, lizard Man. Man Lizard! Oh, oh, it didn't work so well. There you go. Wanna be hero? Man lizard! The best hero ever! <laughs> oh, I amuse myself sometimes in silly, silly ways. But anyway, that is the end of today's stream. I did want to try and search out vampirism, but yes, that didn't turn out so well as I don't know where the vampires are. I haven't encountered a vampire yet, in fact. Mind you, the majority of this stream has been me wandering about. I went into a, a sex orgy, and then I, in fact, went into a plate of undead. I will listen, Outlander, but make it quick. I see how it is. I see how it is. Anyway, so that will be that. That for the stream. And how long have I streamed for today? I have streamed for four hours. Double the amount I've been streaming lately, which is amazing. I approve of this. So anyway, I will see you all later. Please do take care of yourselves, and I'll see you all next time. So, until then, goodbye.